Mamma Mia! Hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi welcoming you back to Let's Play Super Mario Brothers The Hunt for the Magical Key. So, looks like we're gonna go ahead and enter into 3-3 and continue our way through the forest in which we have a whole bunch of barrels to go across. The barrel blast. Jump into the barrel, push B to fire. If you hold B when you fly, and you can fly a little bit longer. Okay, out of curiosity, are we given a cave so we can do this flying shenanigans? I guess not, but anyway. Um, that's not the B button, Miles Luigi. That's the B button. <laughs> so, I, I, I guess having the cape, yeah, here we go. I'll just pass through the entire gap, and hopefully I don't actually fall over there. Pass across the entire gap of the cape. Cape, highly recommended here. If I go straight up, any bonuses for me? No, I'm part of me is expecting a huge bonus here. I guess this entire level is just going to be in heavily, like, over a whole bunch of air, so I want to go at the angle so that we can get the giant last launch and then go through the entire level because it's like well I have a whole bunch of air to cross here and a bunch of barrels and I could go barrel to barrel oh gosh I gotta go straight up here there we go and we'll go into this barrel and then launch across here so it's like on one hand oh shoot the key the key as a matter of fact the keyhole is back there Ooh, darn it I missed the platform and I get a flight oh I just did that didn't I I just did that I did that Whoopsies! I fell right off the platform. <laughs> oh, this might think this thing's a little bit more difficult. I gotta get back there. Oh, this actually shouldn't be that difficult. Oh, wow, look at that key go, look at that key go, look at that key go. Okay, come on. There we go! Blast right into the keyhole. I was just like, gotta be careful. Gotta keep holding on to the hold on to the item button. And that brings us to three fortress. So that's is a hint to everyone how useful a cape is in the area. The capes are so useful, gosh darn it. I need to go through that level, get the normal exit, and yeah. Luigi, you gotta go back to the house. Oh! All right, let's try not floating through here because I floated right into a bottomless pit last time I did that. I, I, if you could just imagine a laugh track behind that section, that would have made things rather interesting. Or if I've learned anything from Kid Icarus Uprising, you just need a heavenly peanut gallery behind an entire game. And there you go. I should actually try it, heavenly peanut gallery style commentary. Unfortunately, I'm not like some god, unfortunately, so it wouldn't exactly work if it's like, oh, hey, Miles Luigi, and it's like, then you'd actually need, like, Luigi and Mario talking back, and Luigi and Mario typically are, at, at least in the sense, silent protagonists. Typically, their speech consists of, yahoo, yippee, yippee, ha ha, woohoo, whoa, and mamma mia. Not, not, not much else than that. Not complicated speech dialogue, which would be needed if we had a heavenly peanut gallery. <laughs> Still would be an awesome concept. Now I just have to wait for the next Kid Icarus Uprising ROM hack. <laughs> uh, it probably actually wouldn't be that good because we need to actually get the voice actors. Okay, here we go. I'm obviously being told to launch at that hill and down butt slide we go. Ah, butt slide doesn't extend very far, I guess, on jungle ground. Yep, yep. and oh, I missed the platform altogether. There we go. Okay. Looks like we got one further challenge with the barrels to go through, and provided I can still time this right, like so, I should actually be good to go. We got a lot of barrels to go through here. You thought I was going to be able to just fly across them all? Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. You were wrong. <laughs> you want your barrels? Here you go. Here's your barrels. And you got them. And the end of the level. Woohoo! Actually, was legitimately concerned there because the barrels were actually rotating at a decent pace, kind of like they do in Donkey Kong Country. I want to say Donkey Kong Country does like stop them for that brief instant, and there wasn't stopping for that brief instant in that level, but I digress. Anyway, Mario, you're not trying to skip a turn to let Luigi beat that level. Let's go ahead and now enter into level three fortress where we're now being brought out of the barrel uh, level, and now we're being brought into the 
key to the castle, including... Okay. These grinder things, I saw them briefly glitch. Yes, they did briefly glitch. Okay, that might be ZSNES, though, actually. I'm gonna put that one on ZSNES, actually. Anyway, I'm definitely gonna want the extra power-ups here in order to be able to survive this section here as... Holy moly, we've got line paths and grinder balls and grinders all over the place, and we just have to make sure we do a decent job on this platform. We should be good at Go, relatively speaking. Hey, I can spin jump on this. I didn't think I'd be able to spin jump on this. I guess it goes to show you the power of the spin jump. I could definitely use it right there, right then. Spin jump is just an almightily powerful thing, and I like it when its power can be showcased decently well. I gotta watch out with that spike ball thing. Anyway, let's see if there's anything in these things here. Nope, nope, yes! And in this room is, I guess, another passageway through the level, possibly? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. Okay, for a second there I was wondering, am I going down, down, down into the lava? At which point, Mario would have been designated as no longer hero, doesn't need to unlock house. This house is now going to get foreclosed on because he can't make his mortgage payments because he's dead. Does that actually how it works? You're still paying off a house and you die. What's the precedent? I actually don't know this. Wow, I should actually know this. I'd have to assume the bank just just regains control of the house. Yeah, in that case, it wouldn't be close. Okay, Mario, you have to live or else your house is going to get foreclosed on. <laughs> Which I never would have thought would have been how to say that in my Romag video. Mario, you must live or else your house is going to go under foreclosure. But you see, the problem is the door is locked from a magical key. So how exactly do you put a house you can't enter on the market? <laughs> It's like, oh, hey, we have this house. Uh, I guess you'd have to call a locksmith at one point, but it's a magical lock. Don't you understand? And I just had a ROM hack sense that that was going to trap me into that area. I was just like, no. But I guess it's actually not going to trap me in that area. In this area, no. Gosh darn it, the Kaizo hacks are definitely playing a role in here. But okay, the house was marked by a magical key. Well, and I guess you're going to have to call someone to break down the door, because at some point, enough blunt force should be good to break through the door, you would think. You would think, you would think. What if it's a magical force that can't be broken by blunt force? Then I guess uh, the bank's gonna call forward some scientists to study this magic because, you know, we must learn this magic so that the bank can use magic to rip you off even more. So now we know it's important for Mario to live or else the banks are gonna rip off people even more. So Mario, it's important for you to live because otherwise if you die, the process of events is your house is gonna get in foreclosed on, but then no one can enter your house because it's locked by a magical seal. So then the bank's gonna call for some scientists to learn about the magical seal, at which point they learn about the magical seal, at which point they use magical skills to rip off their customers even more. The dastardly tricks that Bowser is up to. This leads to this conclusion, that Bowser must be in control of the Koopa Bank. My gosh, the conclusions I go to sometimes whenever I try to logically think things through. <laughs> That's definitely stretching it here. Okay, let's keep calm and enter the door. Here we go. Here we go. And now we fight a piranha plant. Oh gosh, he's going to spring a whole bunch of balls at me. Can I, uh... I'm just going to let him spring his next set of bouncy balls. I better watch out for that one. Oop, he does fall off. Okay, I was wondering, was that going to fall off or going to fall through the entire platform? I think I'm going to just tank a hit. Oh, never mind. It's a good thing I didn't tank a hit and I actually squeezed my way through here because, well... <laughs> he takes more than three hits as he does in Yoshi's Island. There's the fourth hit and he only takes four hits. Okay, good. Six projectiles, four hits, two chances to mess up. Woohoo! There we go. <laughs> So, after defeating the fortress, that actually, I think, forces us to make it over to the ghost house level. Gaps, <sighs> ghost house. Anyway, uh, bonus content. This actually is a decent cutoff point, but you wanna know what? Eh, we'll, we'll include the ghost house. We'll include the ghost house. That door looks awfully scary, and we can't enter it right away. Okay, good. We're gonna have to find another way to get into there, which will probably involve keeping calm and pressing yet another P switch here. So, now we just have to find our way through the ghost house. Oh, I could have used. I could have written down those eeries. One of the cool things you can do with eeries is if there's a giant pit, but there's some eeries, you can spin jump across them. It's one hell of a daredevil feat, though. Hmm, pipe. Nope, no pipe to go enter. But there's a pipe here. And, well, I'm willing to bet you there's something over here. Oh, heck, it's to the fudge. Yeah, yes, there is. More level. So, that pipe to the left. 
Ghost house. I was gonna say useless, but then I'm just going to reply ghost house because a lot of things in life can be replied with with ghost house. Something weird happened in your life? Ghost house. <laughs> now I have to think of an example. Oh, perfect example. This game provides it. I just fell down a hole and died. No! You have to wait till the jump cut for me to make this example, everyone. Jump! There we go. Ha! Made it. All right. What I was about to say was. <coughs> Did your house get locked by a magical lock that you can't unlock your door anymore? Not able to get into your house anymore? Blame it on the ghost house. Which is funny, because last episode I was blaming things on aliens, and now I guess I'm blaming things on ghost house. Either way, something has caused Mario's door to lock. And seeing as it's a magical lock, it seems to reason that the reason why his door is locked because of something... Well, magical, because it's a magical lock anyway. Into the very scary looking door we go! And no, there isn't a passageway to the left. I have a feeling that there's a secret up there. Just a good feeling is telling you that, possibly. Or maybe it's just a solid wall. It very likely actually is just a solid wall that we're not going to be able to dance our way through or get through in any way, shape, or form. Although, just as an interesting side thought on this, here we go, fire flower. Oh, I could actually use the cape to possibly get into that tube. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna totally do that. I'm gonna totally do that. Show you guys how it's done. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, not an enterable pipe. <laughs> Alright, so there's the magical lock to lock up Mario's house. But the thing is, it's not just Mario's house that you could theoretically lock up. What would happen if you locked up, like, someone's car? That would totally ruin their day. This level will be reset if you go into this pipe in case you lost the P-switch. Okay, good to know. Reset pipes. So now that it's not, like, marked with an R or anything obnoxious like that, but I see why we need the pipe now. Let's go ahead and let the ears fly above overhead and continue forward past here. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, that was dumb of me. And, well, no going any further, so... Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> That fire flower just went down into the center of the earth and there's nothing that I can do about it. No. Oh, hey, another piece switch. Okay. I have the choice to go left or right. Left or right. I will be conventional and go right, actually. Going to the right. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. I overreacted to that greatly. Are we going to have a big line of coins that I got to cast? Well, either way, I better hurry my ass up. Oh, gosh. Oh, th th another piece switch. Okay, that works, too. I was just going to say I'm going to land on that platform, but no, it's another piece switch. Okay, good. Good. All right. I waited for those eeries. I don't know if waiting for the eeries was a mistake. Give me another piece switch. No, I'm stuck. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I made it far enough that I actually made it across. Woohoo! Well, through some magical luck, we made it to the next door. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. You could lock more than just a house if you have a magical lock. You could lock someone out's car. That'd be more pranky than locking them out of their house. Locking them out of their house, they're pretty yes but locking them out of their car. Now they gotta take the bus to run. But here we go. Now we have to fight the big boo. We're in an enclosed area, so thank God we can't fall down. Oh, the hardest big boo fights are the ones where you can fall down or the ones where you have to attack Big Boo in such a weird way that it's difficult and instead it looks like our main enemy here is actually the Eeries so provided I don't fudge this up we should be good to go there we go and Big Boo only takes three hits and we have done it Woohoo! there we go so next time on let's play Super Mario Brothers the hunt for the magical key to unlock the magical lock to Mario's door don't get your house foreclosed on Mario. We're gonna take on 3-4, which looks like a really dirty, yucky, swampy level. Now, does this ghost house have a secret exit? I mean, there is a left and right passageway. I could go through the level again and go through the left way, and maybe it takes you to the secret exit, which brings you into the tree level, and then the tree level brings you to a boss with a bird, and then you defeat the boss, then you get a token, to end, which is one out of six tokens to enter into a castle. Wait, Mario, didn't you used to have a castle? He certainly did, didn't he? I wonder what happened to that castle. Luigi, don't you have a mansion? <laughs> Instead of going on an adventure, oh no, bro, your your house is locked. Let's go live in my mansion. It's just sitting over here. And Mario's like, no, my most valuable pair of overalls is in the house. Okay, it's time to go on an adventure. <laughs> Now you know what happens when you play a one-player game in Super Mario Brothers, The Hunt for the Magical Key. Luigi just stays in his mansion. Wow. This has been Miles Luigi. See you next time.
Hey, come back here. Mamma mia! 